Hello everybody, more positivity today. I do apologize that the quality of this one isn't going to be quite as good as I'd like. Uh, I ran into some issues, um, not only with a little bit of the research, but time constraints due to getting called into work last night. Grr. But, uh, so I do apologize for that. So, yeah. That said, this topic is still really, really cool and kind of awesome and important stuff. So, we all have an... You're about to see my Dodia education coming in real well here with my inability to understand and pronounce things. Melanin, I think. Uh, melanin, melanin, melanin. You know that the, the stuff that gives the stuff that the pigmentation in our skin, right? Real important stuff. It helps protect us from you know like sunburns and bacteria and keeps our skin you know good. Keeps our skin good. <laughs> that sounds silly. Uh, right. Well, scientists over at the Northwestern University, or is it Northwest University, that's one of the other problems I had is I really couldn't find a whole lot about them as a, like a whole. I, I got like a bunch of conflicting reports upon looking into it, but they are a legit university. That much is true. Uh, they came up with a sunscreen that creates artificial melanin, like, you know, like how, or like, it's like a cream, but they did test it in sunscreen. We'll get there in just a second. But it's a synthetic, a synthetic version that can do more... It's called radials, but I don't really understand what that means. But basically, it's like a super, super... It's like an artificial, super jacked-up version of what our skin pigmentation is. And it's supposed to be like... They say it might be good for, like, healing scars and shit. Like, that'd be crazy. Wow, huh? Like, imagine, like, all those, like, scars you got from, like, when you were injured yourself as a kid and it's kind of all wonky-looking. Like, whoa, what if we could heal those? Not, not that I have any. No, no, no. Yeah, no, I, I totally do. <laughs> moving on uh so yeah it's it's actually really cool and initially like i said they tried tra putting a sunscreen but and it's been going on for 10 whole freaking years but it's but yeah 10 years is a long time to be working on this stuff but yeah and it's um only recently starting to show signs for more use like has that topical cream on its own rather than mixing the sunscreen um it's also putting potential use for um the idea is maybe even put it speaking of topical cream for it is using it on uh for bl for blisters and really bad sores to help patch up the skin like throughout like through the top layers and you know because your skin's got a lot of layers to help heal all the layers of skin which would be that'd be pretty cool and you know we we've all had moments when like we especially after like gym class or something where we get blisters on our feet right and it's like uh suffering end me but what if there was a cream that could heal that faster that'd be pretty dang cool they're also, it's also being funded by um, the Department of Defense, which I have kind of mixed feelings on, uh, for treatments for neurotoxins and shit, like putting it, mixing it into clothes and stuff. Well, okay, dyes for clothes is what it says, to act as absorbent for toxins in the environment, particularly nerve gas, which is a big deal. Like, imagine, like, if your clothes could absorb some of that and protect you, but what I think would be cooler is not just, like, neurotoxins, but, like, imagine if we could do for more, like, you know, like, asbestos and like all kinds of other like really toxic chemical shit that are in buildings and stuff or like after a bad fire or something what if we could like enhance that using this artificial melanin melanin i don't know how to read but yeah that's um i think that's pretty dang cool actually um and this was actually published in the uh in november 2nd so it's like real recent and um, the Nature NPJ, I think that's, I don't know what that actually means. It's, it's, it's a legit medical journal, though, and there was a link to it. Um, I'll have to dig it out. Hopefully I can find it. Oh, I say hopefully, but it's mostly ho hopefully my small brain remembers to. Of the um, regenerative, uh, oh, it's, okay, it's a journal type thing. Of regenerative medicine. It's like, that's like super cool. Oh, and I probably should mention that the doctors in charge of this are Kurt, Dr. Kurt Liu and then it's got like, it had like Eugene and Gloria Brower, a uh, professor of dermatology at Northwestern University. I don't really understand what that means. It sounds important, but I can't tell if the Gloria Bure is like a person or if that's a title. And then the, but it's the other partner of this whole report is Nathan G uh, something. Sorry, bro. Just have a better, easier to read last name. Oh, that's terrible. I think I said that before, too, actually. Um, but yeah, no, it's. I think it's pretty dang cool. It's a shame that life prevents me from looking into this further. Um, before I go, uh, two lickety-split things. Well, okay, three. I know how to count. I'm a very smart vampire who knows how to count. I don't know how to count. 
first and foremost, um, I will be streaming in about, I guess, 12 hours after this video goes live, um, which is at midnight central time, Wednesday. So uh, more Mario and ASMR. Hope to see you there. Uh, two, thank you so much to my Patreons, Lar Wesker, Pupper, and Dinah. Your support means so, so freaking much, and I love you all so much for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And lastly, thank you so very much for watching. Subscribe for more stuff, and um, next video is out on Thursday. Wait, I think it's Thursday. No, I'm streaming on Thursday. I know my schedule, I promise. I don't know my schedule. Bye!